Would you have some time to talk about old school death metal? If that is, yes, we will talk about some old school death metal. And now, in especially beautiful box by Finnish band Sepulchral Curse. Now, let's be clear about it. I made a mistake by opening this box before, you know, unboxing it on a video. But I mean, I didn't think about that. I was just keen to expose this inner side to myself and, you know, put the CD in player and all that stuff. And only later was like, oops, I should have been unboxing it first, edit this into video and all that stuff. Now damage is done, but well, rest assured, all the contents are still here. Uh, this is the man's first full length album. There are a couple of um, earlier releases by the band which have kind of given you the idea of what it's talking about. And uh, I'll show you here that basically the discography is right here with two EPs, 2014, 2016, and that's it. Now, Only Ashes Remain is the first full length album, even though the band has been there a few years. But before getting into all that, let's do a little bit of uh, opening here and uh, see what this beautiful <clears throat> box, excuse me, includes. First of all, we'll open here and uh, we'll find the ZD. Well, the CD wasn't, I guess, on the top of everything, but given that I was just listening to it before making this video, well, there it is. Now, first of all, this starts with a very nice certificate, official certificate of ownership. Uh, there are some autographs and that's it. This is kind of a photo. I think very nice idea to include this one. Then we have some, some bubbly plastic, like it's called. There seems to be this kind of a cool um, sort of a reflecting um, sticker. Very nice because the cover image is really nice. We'll get back to that in a bit. Then we have a um, fridge magnet still unwrapped. What a nice sound it makes. Um, we'll have a big ass pin also very much in plastic. So uh, you can just pretty much prove to the rest of the world you're a fan of the band with all this nice stuff. And to complement everything, you have a patch when you buy this piece of uh, death metal. So all in all, you can pretty much show the world this goes to your vest, this goes to your leather jacket, this goes to your... Uh, I don't know, refrigerator door and uh, maybe the sticker you can just tape on your front door, I mean, or basement or whatever. And then we have this beautiful box and look at this great art. If this isn't a death metal art, I don't know what it is. There is a majestic corpse, some uh, ruined buildings, great colors and kind of a nice logo with some golden touch, you know, and beautiful Beautiful cardboard box, which obviously has a track list. There's the information about the release and all that stuff. Now let's take a CD because this is also very, very beautiful. It's a uh, more, um, how to say it, more beautiful, more treasure-like CD packaging than your typical Digipack. Inside you will have, of course, the band image, the photo, you will have the recording information and the lineup. You will have lyrics with more beautiful graphics. And this is how the threefold uh, CD packaging actually looks like. Obviously, the CD and uh, closer caption of the art here. All right. So, um, all in all, this looks fantastic. I'm going to emphasize this is one of the best looking CD boxes I've gotten in, in my entire life. And because, I mean, I've been already doing some 20 years, these reviews, well, almost anyway, I've seen plenty of them and rarely they get even close to this one. I have some other cool ones, but because I'm no collector, I usually don't spend my money getting all kind of Nile pyramids and all that stuff. But anyway, definitely one of the coolest packaging I've gotten. Now let's go to the Metal Archive site and talk about the music. What does 
only ashes remain even include. Well, it's 45 minutes of death metal. That's kind of a given. And uh, even though this kind of a modern band, it's very much old school. I mean, you think about these riffs and it's pretty cool and obvious that these guys do old school stuff. Now, for example, the first track, it's kind of a trashy. And when I say it's trashy, I don't mean death trash. I mean the 1980s style um, of death metal when it was coming, you know, that is bands like Morbid Angel, early Morbid Angel, early Cannibal Corpse, early Death, and so on. You know, so many of these bands had the kind of uh, remains of trash metal, you know, looming on the background when it was going to this new direction, which later on kind of uh, became what death metal is known for. And uh, I think it's a really cool thing that these guys are not afraid to do that. I mean, so many old school band tried to copy what later on, we could even say second wave of death metal became. That is early 90s versus late 80s. But these guys decided, hey, let's do it the old school way, like real. Now, we could obviously talk about production if it's really old school or not. But whether it's all about sounding old school or muddy, dusty, dirty, to be honest, doesn't really matter because what matters here is that this production is cool, good and cool. It fits the music, so maybe it's good. Um, vocals then again, very deep, very brutal, almost like too brutal for this kind of music. I mean, they would be more at home, so to speak, if that was the presence of very ultra brutal death metal. Now with this Kari Kankan bands, very deep, and uh, kind of uh, inhuman growly vocals. It's almost like too much for the rest of the band. But actually this is being balanced because there are some screamier parts which are not that death metallic, more maybe related to grindcore, even some black metal bands because they're kind of high pitchy screams. So there is this certain balance, which then again is done by having both kind of uh, vocals. Also, uh, some of the riffs are very melodic and even kind of a groovy. So there are more than just one or two sides to this kind of old school dead metal. It's more multifaceted than people might be expecting. Now, there are also these kind of a little bit of a maybe off, off road, off topic kind of ideas, and that is the length of the tracks. For example, rarely you will hear 11 minutes. Uh, death metal anthem, if you will. And to be honest, I don't know if this length is kind of a justified because in my opinion, this kind of music works better when you have kind of a shorter tracks, maybe three, maybe four, five minutes. And that is what mostly is happening here. But when tracks are seven or 11 minutes, it's more like uh, maybe you could have been trimming the fat off. Then again, there are people who like that fat. I'm not talking about food here. I'm talking about the music. Be doom metal, doom death, death metal, black metal. Sometimes the lengthiness is serving the purpose. And who knows, maybe for some people it's actually right here. Now, I don't have many complaints about this album because it's kind of clear that the band has a lot improved since the first EP some six years before. I guess I, guess I missed the at the onset of Extinction Four years ago when it came out, I might have been listening to it as a digital promo, but I never gave it a proper listen. So I really can't compare to that one. But comparing to the first one, six years before, it's clear that this band has been evolving quite a bit. Because, I mean, the songs have better structure. There is better, um, you know, overall songwriting, better production. Everything is so much better, even if not the album of the year material that this is something that you should not miss, even though you might have been skipping the band earlier. Now, this all said, this good music combined with this really, really beautiful packaging, I think this is a kind of a bargain you really can miss if you are old school death metal fan. Now, I still think there is a lot of work to be done for Sepulchre Curse to kind of reach the top spot in Finnish death metal. Not because we have plenty of those bands, but because the ones that we have on the top, and there are only a few in my opinions, they are so goddamn good that the competition is very challenging in a way. But this band has all the right tools to be in that, I don't know, top three or whatever. Because, in my opinion, 
these guys are going to the right direction and they have basically everything here. Now it's more about, you know, honing and polishing and maybe finding a little bit of their own sound. Now, because everything else is here, I see why not uh, check this out. What Check out this one. So you will find links in the description box. Go to take a look. And if you are a fan of nice packaging, go for this one. You really can can beat stuff like that with all the uh, juice inside. So with these words, take care and enjoy some zip crawl curse. I am pretty sure you won't be disappointed. Take care. Bye bye.